The collapse of SBB in particular is impacting Utah, which has a massive tech industry. We do have team coverage on what the collapse means for Utah. Fox 13 News anchor Amy Nay speaks with a local business that used the bank. But we start with Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow with how Utah's Capitol Hill was prepared to intervene to try and shore up the multi-billion dollar sector of our economy. State leaders say nearly all Silicon Slope's tech firms were impacted by the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, and that represents thousands of jobs here. It was a, a very intense uh, 48 plus hours for everyone that was involved. The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank reaches all the way from California to Utah's Silicon Slopes, where hundreds of tech firms had money in it. I would say about half banked with SVB, and about half of those assets again were stuck. You know, including my firm. At a town hall meeting, a news conference organized by the trade group representing Utah's tech industry, state officials disclosed plans to step in and bail out local firms. If the feds didn't step up, that the state would have, and and tried to find ways again to uh, to to make sure that we're helping those who are struggling, um, and and especially the payroll piece. That's really important to us. We knew that hundreds of businesses were impacted, and that means thousands and thousands of of employees would have been impacted. Impacted and, and could have been devastating to, to our state. Senator Mitt Romney says he was talking to the White House. With social media out there, you can you can start a run on something and, and do something which is uh, irrational but but real. And, and I believe that the Fed took the right steps. The head of the so Utah Bankers like Association insists what happened was unusual, the noting the role social media had in it. You could have the greatest bank in the world, and if all the depositors go on the same day and take all their money out, there's nothing you can do. But Utah banks and the tech industry are feeling it. We have one out of seven jobs in the state of Utah. We're 20% of the GDP in the state. Tech is a rapidly growing and influential part of Utah's economy, and it's made political leaders sit up and take notice. Sunny Washington heads up the political action committee representing a lot of Silicon Slopes firms. She says they're trying to figure out where to go from here. What we want to do is kind of quell the panic, uh, allow for those that need assistance to get that assistance, but then uh, really think forward about how we might de-risk where we put our investments, where we put our money. Now, the head of Utah's Department of Financial Institutions says you can expect changes to how banks operate as a result of all of this locally and across the country. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.